If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. With that being said, welcome back to Bite Size Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the UB Finger Puppets Godzilla 95 version 1 and version 2. Starting off with version 1, I have to say that the mold on this guy is actually kind of cool. Being a, well, a Heisei Godzilla, he has a lot of uh, different kind of paint applications, especially like on the spines where it's actually kind of more yellow in the middle and then kind of gets orange and red where it kind of goes out to the outer fins and then they kind of rinse and repeat on the other side here on the front though the burning patches are really well painted with like a slight gradients of yellow to orange to mild red across all the burning patches and it looks good the claws look really well painted as well even though they are just kind of slapped on i mean with this size can't really get any more than this and the face paint well it is very basic you kind of get some black and some yellow and some very cool type of um, red eyes and individually painted teeth, which are cleanly painted for the most part. Kind of gets a little gunked up up here, but it is really well done. And of course, the red top. Next up is version 2, which at first I thought was him in the bubble bath, but it's actually just him steaming up the water. However, what's fun to know is that the prototype originally showed the uh, jet that was supposed to be right here, the Super uh, Super X3, I believe. But regardless, the Burning Godzilla looks actually pretty cool here, still retains the same sculpt, slightly different pose, but it's still pretty well done. We have like some of the water, kind of looks like a cake, and we have like some of the steam kind of coming out, and we have like these buildings, which are decently sculpted. We got a little bit of detailing. Uh, a little bit of like ridges on this one, not too much in the way of like windows or anything, but you can still tell it's a building. But overall, definitely like the lengthiest one I own, but it still looks really well done. For some size comparisons, here they are next to the uh, NECA Godzilla 1995, the Reactor Glow Godzilla 95 from Loot Crate, and the Blamates Godzilla vs. Destroya, Destroya. So as you can see, very small. Overall, these two are really cool additions to anyone's collection, really. I really recommend these because these guys are just cute little adorable little finger puppets that were at least fairly inexpensive for me at the very least. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.